right, there it is. Our last breakfast here at the Riverview. It's been great. I've really enjoyed staying here. Everything's been so comfortable. I really like um, being able to sit out here and eat breakfast. Yeah. I think he's trying to surprise himself in the mirror. He's trying to catch who's that baby in the mirror. So one of the things I wanted to mention about this room in particular is that um, something we didn't realize until yesterday was we don't have anybody around us. So we don't have a neighbor on this side because that's our outside porch. Right. And then directly on this side is like over the gift shop. Mm -hmm. So there's just like a big tall ceiling there. And then on this side where our bed is, is actually where the housekeeping like closet is. So because of that, it's been a fantastic room because it's been so quiet. Can't hear any neighbors in any direction. And we don't have to worry about Jackson like making too much noise below us because there's nobody below us. So it's been great. This room has been great. So I'm not going to lie. When we first checked in, I was a little bit nervous about having Jackson at this hotel because it is an older building. And I feel like I thought the walls were going to be a lot thinner than they are. And I was nervous that he was going to be too loud for because a lot of people here are just like single couples, like trying to have a relaxing week, you know? And um, we didn't really have to worry about that because we haven't heard anybody around us, but also there is nobody around us. So, I don't know, it's been, I, I really enjoyed it. All right, buddy, we're almost all the way packed up. You gotta pack up your fireman's head? Oh yeah, I got all your cool souvenirs. So, bye living room area. There's all of our breakfast stuff. Bye bedroom. This bed was very comfortable. Yeah. I really was. I had really good night's sleeps here. It was great. I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that we are so close to this bridge and there was so much like noise, but not, not in a bad way. It was almost like having this gentle hum. It just really put me to sleep. Like a rhythmic, like... I almost felt like we were on a cruise. Yeah. yeah. Is that like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's your That's water, water cup, buddy. Bye, private balcony porch area. We spent a lot of time out here, but we didn't vlog a lot of it because we were just kind of enjoying the view. We watched so many animals from this balcony. Lots of birds over here. Like Tim said, we saw some dolphins. It was really neat to watch the birds in the morning because there would always be somebody fishing right here and the birds would like hang out next to them trying to get whatever they had caught. This is where we sat and we ate breakfast every day. It was great. And then of course we have our our little loungers. So me and Jackson actually hung out out here on the loungers a few times. It was really nice. And then there's the restaurant. We ate dinner there the first night. There it is. Buy pink little hotel. <gasps> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Our bags are packed up. We're leaving today. Are you ready, buddy? Okay. Yeah? What do you think? Should we come back to the beach again? So we are all packed up. It's time to head home. Today's our checkout day, buddy. I really enjoyed this stay a lot. Yeah. I really like this hotel. It's definitely different from any other hotel that we've stayed in. It's um, a lot smaller, obviously. There's only 18 rooms, but I just really liked the whole vibe. I really liked how close we were to Flagler Avenue, and there were so many great little restaurants and things and shops. like literally just right outside the, the hotel, which is great. It was amazing being able to walk everywhere. We could walk down to the beach like if we wanted to. I didn't realize like how close we were to this hotel on our last day. Yeah. It didn't seem like we were that close. So the first night when Tim was like, I'm gonna go walk down to the beach, I was like, I don't know if that's a good idea to, to walk that far in like at, at night by the beach. And he's like, it's, it's like the size of our neighborhood. Yeah. So when we take Jackson on a walk, like around our neighborhood, it's literally like half a mile. Yeah. And that's how far the beach is away from this hotel. So I didn't realize it was that close. Yeah, it's really not that far at all. Also, I really enjoyed the view out the back, like on the balcony here, eating breakfast out there, watching the boats go underneath the drawbridge. And then you got to see dolphins too. Yeah, that was awesome. Also, um, I haven't watched the time lapse of the sunset. So I'm not sure how that turned out. Hopefully it turned out pretty good, but it was neat to be able to just have that view because when we stayed on the beach side last time, we didn't have the sunset view. Right. So, so this was honestly, I really, really enjoyed it. I would like to come back and stay in the yacht rooms. Right. So they have the yacht club 
like um, all of the rooms are they, they all look different all of the rooms have different like decorations and theming and so they do have a yacht club series of rooms so those I would like to check those out next time so all right let's take stuff down to the car and pack it up and head home you know buy new Smyrna Beach dang we'll be back for sure we didn't even get to check out Canal Street so we definitely have to come back oh yeah oh my gosh on the way home we had to stop at a supercharger and there's one in Titusville that is 16 superchargers as well as four regular chargers in front of a Target. So we're gonna see if we can find some food inside the Target for lunch. Inside the Target they have a strawberry shortcake icy. I wonder what that tastes like. I don't know, it sounds really good, right? It sounds bizarre. <laughs> well, good news, we are back home and look at this. Look at this. The oven. Oh, the oven works. It works. So the control board, right? It came yeah. while we were gone and Tim put it together. Daddy fixed it. Yeah. Yeah. And originally I sent it off for them to fix it, but they took one look at it and they're like, you need a new one. So they sent out a new one and I put it in Yay. and it works great. Yay. We have an oven. But also another cool thing is that when we were at Target, did you show them that we went to Target? Just a little bit. Okay, so when we were at Target, we um, we got Jackson a neat little toy while we were there. You wanna go see your toy? Should we put it together? Before we do that, I just oh. did wanna give a little tryouts update. Nothing happened, so. <laughs> oh yeah, so while we were gone, I thought for sure that they would hatch. The triops are the um, prehistoric sea monsters that we bought also from Target. And I'll link that video down below in case you have no idea what we're talking about. But like, what do we do? Do we return it back to Target? Like, do we say? Or do we just wait? So I, I keep telling Tim that one of you left a comment and you said, I bought that same thing. And I thought the same thing. I thought that it, it wasn't gonna, they weren't gonna hatch. They said they put them in a room. I think they said their laundry room and they forgot about it. Okay. And then they looked at it one day and there was just one big one because they had, I guess, eaten all of the other little ones. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So I feel like we should just let it like just chill. I mean, it's not doing anything. So like, yeah, just let it be there. But so far, nothing has happened, and we've had it for kind of a while. Right. So. All right. Let me show you a quick look at that, and then we'll go look at Jackson's new toy. Let's go put our new toy together. Also, we should show them his new other favorite thing. Oh yeah, we didn't show you this either. So here's a look at the uh, the triop container. Nothing going on down there. Nothing. Unless they're microscopic and I can't see them, I don't see anything happening. All right, Jackson, you want to see what we got you? Look at this cool thing. The bucket's mountain lid is the start to any setup. Okay. So this is what we start with, the mountain lid. Okay. So how do we do it? Do you know? Yeah, I'm just going to go off the picture. Oh, okay. And do that. I think it'll be good. All right, let's do it. Are you doing it, buddy? You helping out already? We started putting it together. And Jackson just wants to put everything away. Okay. So this one goes. Let's put this one right here, buddy. What's this wiggly one, though? What wiggly one? The, the one doesn't that look wiggly right there? I think it goes down and then it curves to the other side. You're doing great, buddy. One of these short ones like this. Like this way? Yeah. Okay. And then it comes back like this way? No, and then there's like three, two in a row. Two what? Two of the short ones in a row. All right, we made a thing for Jackson and he's just like, I'll just play with the trains over here. But look, 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 look. You wanna make it go up the bridge? Go up the bridge. Our floors are a little bit unlevel, so this like bridge is not doing the best. Uh-oh. Oh, well, you're doing it, buddy. Look at you. Can you do it? Yeah. Look at oh, that. look at that, you did it. I'll make him go down the bridge. Make them go down. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Give it a little, oh, whoa. whoa. <laughs> All right. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Make them go through the mountains. You see the mountains? See the mountains? So much drool coming out of that baby's mouth. That's how you know he's excited. When he gets real excited, he's really drooling. Trip through the mountains, buddy. Close. You're doing good. You did great, buddy. Wow. You're so sad. Is that funny? What's he doing? Did he do it? 
Whee! Maybe go on the other side of the bridge. Ah. Close. Wow. There it is. You did it, buddy. You did it. Whoa. Nice job. Um, yeah, just like I did that. this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it a telephone? Do you want mommy to do it? Can you sit on mommy's lap? Mm. Oh, thank you. He said, I've had a hard day of playing with trains and now I just want to sit. Let's, you want to just drive our trains? Wee. Chugga, 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 choo, choo. Look, these are, they're magnets, buddy, look. Whoa. Whoa, buddy, how do those work? I don't know. Nobody knows, it's magic. I mean, people know. <laughs> <laughs> also, as a side note, the Mickey balloon is still going. I don't know if I would say going strong. It's pretty squishy. But it's still floating. You want to hug it? It still floats. Okay, we love to hug our Mickey balloon. We love to hug our Mickey balloon. Whoa, buddy. Are you okay? Is this gonna, is this gonna be the last day of the Mickey balloon? <laughs> Jackson, you want to show everybody your chair? Where's your new chair? Come show me your new chair. All right, have a seat, buddy. Have a seat. That's backwards. Well, however you get there, you got there. There it is. You sitting in your, your relaxing vacation chair? Wow. I don't, I don't really know. How do you pronounce it? Adirondack? Yeah. Adirondack. I think, and it's small enough, I think we could probably like take it with us if we go to the beach again. Oh yeah. And that could be his little like beachy chair. Is this your little beach chair? And it was five dollars at Target. It was in the dollar spot. Hello? They call me <laughs> the rock star. Look at your cool hair, buddy. Did you have a nice bath? It's so interesting to see that it like just falls down. Whoa, look, let me see the back of that hair. Let me see that mullet. Oh my goodness. It's the fan. This hair's so long. I hope Harmony Barbershop opens up soon. <laughs> I do too. It's like, oh my goodness, buddy. You know, the thing, the thing that's funny is that his hair grows slower than, like, it's kind of like he has kind of thin hair, mm -hmm. like mine, you know? So right. his hair doesn't grow as fast as, like, other kids. Yeah, so, like, we, other kids would have, like, a ton of hair. A ton of hair right now. We've seen kids that are, like, younger than him that have, like, a full head, like, a full head of thick hair. What is it? What do you see? You see a tree? Palm trees. <gasps> There's a palm tree out there, buddy. It's swaying in the wind. It's okay if you giggle. This will only tickle a little. Doc makes stuffins. Doc makes stuffins. All right, buddy. You ready? Let's go brush your teeth. We got a new toothbrush at Target today. Let oh, me yeah. Show you. It's on the counter. It's from Frida, and it will... Are those the nose people? Yeah, they have a thing called Nose Frida. Oh, and it goes like around the tooth. Yeah, it's supposed to clean all sides of the tooth. Huh, which is good because he doesn't really like to have his teeth brushed. He likes to do it. He's waiting for it right now. He's like, <laughs> he's like, are you going to do it, Dad? He only lets me go up and down. He doesn't let me go like on the sides. Right. Like this. Oh, so, so bud, we're really going to brush those teeth tonight. Are you so tired? Here. You want to brush your teeth? Show him how you brush your teeth. Good job. Yeah. He's so oh, smart. Time to brush his hair, then brush his teeth, then put him to bed. Bedtime, buddy. Give the balloon a name. The boy named it Blue. Blue the balloon. So Jackson's been really into balloons recently, and so we're reading him The Blue Balloon by Christopher Lambert, who is an LGBTQ plus author in Orlando. The boy attached a note to the big blue beautiful balloon. And Jackson loves them. Hello, I'm Christopher, and my favorite color is blue, and I love birds. Christopher let the balloon go up into the beautiful sky and the balloon floated away until the next day. Oh, this shirt you ask? What am I doing with the shirt in my hand? Yeah. When we went to that theme park outlet that was over there, remember that one day? We'll put a link in the description down below. It was the day that you got your Crocs. It was the day I got my Crocs. Yeah, which I'm still salty about. I want some Crocs. We'll get you some Crocs. Okay. Um, but we were going around that store and we found a bunch of like very cheap t-shirts and we bought some and I bought this one. Yeah. And the whole reason that I bought this one was because I want to try to do a reverse tie-dye on it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And those of you all that are not sure what a reverse tie-dye is, basically, it's uh, instead of using colors, we're taking colors away. 
Yeah. So I'm going to tie this up as if I were to tie dye it, but I'm doing it dry. Right. Like normally if you do a tie dye, you do it with the, the soda ash and the water and everything. Mm -hmm. I'm doing this dry. I'm going to tie it up dry and then I'm going to spray it with bleach. Yeah. And actually it's a, a four parts water, one part, or three parts water, one part bleach mixture that I'm going to spray it with. I was going to ask, did you like look up how to do this? Yeah. Okay. Cause we, so we did this a while ago, like yeah. years and years and years and years ago. But we didn't do a tie dye. No, but it was a similar idea. Yeah, we I made a bender cutout, like bender from Futurama, mm -hmm. and it was with wax paper that I could iron on. It was like one-sided wax paper, and so I ironed it onto the shirt, and then I bleached around it, and then we took the decal off. Yeah. And then there was a shape of bender that was still black, but then there was all this like bleach splatter around it. It was a really cool shirt. Yeah, do it's you around still have somewhere. It? I was still, gonna, yeah, I okay. think so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie this up. Okay. Then spray it with the bleach. And then you rinse it out with water real quick and then you wash it by itself and then it should be done. Okay. Fairly simple process. But um, when we were at Margaritaville, and we'll put a link to that video in the description down below, we, were, we did some tie-dye and we saw them doing a double swirl. Are you going to try to do I'm it? I'm going to try to do a double swirl Ooh. in the reverse tie-dye. So I what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this t-shirt, right? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to lay it out like this Yeah. and then I'm going to take two points. Right uh -huh. here and right here, uh -huh. and I'm gonna twist them up. Okay. Okay. Do we have rubber bands? Well, they're right there next to me. Are these my hair ties? No, they're from the tie dye kit that we bought. Oh, that's right. We bought it. Okay, so at the height of quarantine, everybody was tie dyeing things, and actually, a lot of people were doing this reverse tie dye stuff, and we so we bought a kit because we were like, we gotta do tie dye too, and then um, we never did it. We never used it. And the funny thing is, is that the tie dye kits. Right. Start you can do over it again. again. So the guy at Margaritaville used a fork. Yeah. Should I use a fork? I don't know. I mean... It's going to be hard to do two forks at one time. Ah, uh, okay. And his was different because his was wet. Oh, yeah. That's true. Yeah. So... All right. So I'm going to try this ear right here. Okay. Right? And then just kind of like down here a little bit. And then I wonder... Will you pinch that up right there? Where? Right here? Yeah. So I can get the fork on it. Oh, yeah. You got it? Yep. Okay. And so now I'm going to do opposite spins, but like, oh no, I'm going to do the same spin. Okay. So that they like go into each other. Right. Oh yeah. See the fork makes it a much tighter. Is that good or bad? Oh, it's, it's good. Okay. All right. Thank you guy at Margaritaville for showing us how to do this. Yeah. So now you got to do this too, right? Like this? No, the other way. Oh, this way? And that goes like this. Okay. And then this goes, hold on. I'm going to do this. Okay, you hold the forks. Okay. Okay, you got it? Yep. Okay. So now, nice and tight. Okay. Right? Yep. Now pull the forks out. All right, so now take one of these rubber bands uh -huh. and stretch it out real big. Which way? Like this? Yeah, sure. Okay. All right, now let go. All right, now do another one. Okay. Let me get this guy in here like this. All right. So there it is. Now, I'm going to flatten it out a little bit so that the swirl is correct. Okay. Right? So now I just spray it down with some bleach. All right. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. And I'm going to flip it over too. I'm going to wear gloves because in my old age, my hand, my skin doesn't handle bleach as well. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. I don't know how much to like... See, I thought Saturated. you were gonna. I thought you were gonna like do the squirty thing. No, this is because you don't want it to like get too deep in there because you want some of it to stay black. Okay. Oh wow, it's changing so fast. Yeah. What the heck? I feel like I need to get some in the center more here. Okay. Oh man. Let me flip it over here. You might be right. Maybe I'm gonna eat my words here. Okay. How long do you let it sit before it's you... It's like 15, 20 minutes. Before you put it in the washer. Yeah, you have to rinse it out with, with cool water first. Okay. And then put it in the washer by itself. Oh, man. I think it's going to look like a cool... How, did it tell you how much to saturate it? No. That was the part that was like... I have to figure out on my own. All right, okay. I'm going to leave it like right, that. I was going to say, I think we're going a little ham. Yeah. So now we're going to like just set a timer. Okay. 15 minutes. We'll come out and check on it. Okay. So I'm, don't pay attention to the shelf that fell in our garage behind me. <laughs> All right, we're about halfway through the amount of time that we are waiting. It's looking very pink, but you can see there is still a little bit of gray here and there. 
I'm excited to see how this is going to turn out. I'm going to leave it upside down like this for the remainder of the waiting 15 minutes. Ooh, it looks weird. Oh, okay. All right, you ready? <gasps> how does it look? Oh, it looks pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Wow. It looks almost like neon. Let's bring it into the kitchen. Oh, I think it looks cool. Yeah, I think so too. Wow. Try to show you the back. Yeah. yeah, I think that looks really neat. I think it's cool because like the actual Mickey design doesn't bleach. Right? So it's just, it looks, I don't know, it looks really cool. But it's cool. bleached underneath the Mickey. Yeah, like which is- come in on his foot. Yeah, that's so weird. Super, yeah. You know what else is really uh, weird about it is like, when it was out there all tied up, it was all pink. Like, I know, I literally just a ball of pink. I go, I think you did too much. And there's like, there, it's it's like kind of, kind of faint. Yeah, there's not almost like not enough. Yeah, but it still looks really cool. I agree. I think maybe it was too tight though. I think you're right. I think because I did the double swirl, I don't know if the double swirl work will work as good if you're doing a reverse tie dye like this. Ah. Because it's like two tight swirls. Okay. Whereas if I just done one like big swirl, it would yeah. have been looser because it, the like rubber bands are loose. Dang, I think you're right. But I, I don't know, I like it. So I think I'm gonna rinse it out now. You know what I think I wanna do? What? I have a bunch of our merch in this like gray color. I think I might do some of our merch. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, yeah, you gonna rinse it out now? Yeah. So we did another one. Turned out really good. This one I think turned out even cooler. I think the, with the bleach, you're right, doing the single spiral is the best way to go. Yeah. It looks awesome. I will try to open it up here. I'm just rinsing it out right now. Look how neat. It looks awesome. Yeah. Show them the back. Look at how awesome the back turned out. Oh my gosh. So cool. You're gonna have some yeah. cool shirts. I got two cool shirts. All right. Life's pretty great for somebody with two cool shirts. Imagine if you had three cool shirts. What? <laughs> That's too many cool shirts. Can't even imagine. <laughs> no. Good morning. Uh, sometimes I get excited when things happen and I forget to break out the camera. <laughs> but we just got something that hopefully will spur us <laughs> into a into a healthier position. Okay. And that is we got this Nordic track. Yay! So it's like a Peloton bike. Right. But it was like a thousand dollars cheaper. Right. So, and we got it on the treasure truck. Like Amazon had it on sale for like 25% off. <laughs> so we got it. Uh, was that so exciting? I just have to get it Hello. on <laughs> <laughs> I like how he puts his nose up to it. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like it's very heavy. Did it say how much it weighed? I think it weighs 300 pounds. Oh my gosh. Really? Yeah. Wow. The other thing that was cool about it being on the treasure truck is that it was free shipping. So normally the shipping is like pretty expensive. Um, yeah, but they just drop it off inside the door because it's free shipping. So we gotta do all the heavy lifting ourselves. Wow, so here's a look at the bike and its packaging. So it's pretty much all together. For the most part. So how do we get that upstairs? I don't know, we're gonna figure that out. <laughs> so this is the, um, the Nordic Track S22i bike. And I think they have another one that was like a little bit cheaper, but I don't know what the difference was. So the bike is up and in place. It's not done yet. Jen and I were able to pick it up and carry it up the stairs and put it in place in our guest bedroom right next to the, ah, uh, yes, the elliptical. As you all know, I was doing this every morning and then my birthday came and I didn't do it again. So it's been about two months since I've been on this. I know what you're thinking. Like, oh, you have this perfectly good elliptical. Why'd you get the bike? I like bicycling better than I like running. So that's the idea is hopefully we will be more motivated to do the bike than to do the elliptical. Also the bike has a screen that goes with it. So we can like pick a place and like see the scenery 
and it'll go up and down elevations automatically as we go around the scenery that's being displayed on the monitor. We'll see. We'll see how it works. I have a good feeling about it. So I like bicycling. I'm excited to get on this and ride. We're probably going to put the rest of it together later, but we will have it together by the end of the day today. So it's a little bit later. I haven't finished putting the bike together yet, but we will keep you updated after we get it all put together and how we like the bike and how it's going with the bike. But sorry this video kind of turned into a hodgepodge of a day, but we did have a great time at New Smyrna Beach and we wanted to say thank you to the Riverview Hotel for having us out. Uh, I can't wait to go back because there's, like I said, there's still stuff that we haven't seen yet. And I think we could probably just make a day trip out there to go to do some more stuff. I will say this, there wasn't a lot of charging infrastructure in New Smyrna Beach. Like that's why we had to stop at the superchargers at the Target, which turned out to be a little bit of a blessing because we were able to buy that train set for Jackson, which he loves. And we were able to buy his little tiny chair, which is super cute. And it's light enough and small enough that I think we could take it with us on, on future trips. Like if we go to the beach on a different day or a different trip, we can take that chair with us and that can be like his little beach chair. Maybe we could also find a little folding chair for him eventually. I don't know, I'm kind of stuck on this little tiny Anirondack because it's so cute. And the tie-dye or the reverse tie-dye, I'm so excited to do that. Actually, I'm wearing a Halloween Horror Night shirt that I kind of want to do too, but I want to try something different. I don't know if I want to practice doing something different on this shirt because I can't, you can't buy this shirt anymore. So I do want to do a re reverse tie-dye on it, but I don't know if I want to do an experimentational reverse tie-dye on it. Stay tuned for the next home vlog to find out what we end up doing with this shirt. So all in all, a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. <music>